So, I'm scratching my knee, I know. <laughs> Hi guys, this is KB again with my sister. You can say your name. My name's Ellie. Um, and obviously, I'm still using my fresh new camera. I'm still excited about using this damn thing. And I was looking for something for us to do together, rather than her just sitting here watching me record stuff. And um, I found something called the sister tag, hence the title of the video, obviously. Um, but it looks like there's about 23 questions here that we answer together by the looks of things, or you answer on your own. Have you already read the questions? Briefly, but not like, <coughs> not like intently, you know, and thought about my answers or anything. How old are we? Hmm? Should we answer for each other? <laughs> You're 23, aren't you? You're 26. Yes. <laughs> but I love oh, how we, were, we were like, are yeah, you? Are you? <laughs> Describe each other in one word. <laughs> um, it'd have to be a good word, wouldn't it? Can it be a profanity? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to describe you as artistic. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Yeah, your turn. <laughs> to be honest, I just think you're crazy. In a good way. In a, no, in a good way. No. Okay, so I have to. I'm no, crazy. Say, no, no, crazy. That's fine. <laughs> Don't make me turn crazy on you. You you do a bit nuts though. Artistic was a compliment. I know. Cra just is saying. crazy not a compliment? <clears throat> no? I'm sorry. Number three is, do people ever get you mixed up? Vocally? Yes. Yeah. Physically? No. Do you think we look the same? Ish. Similar? Like sisters? <laughs> Number four is, what is something that annoys you about one another? Everything. <laughs> you're very sensitive. Yeah, you're not a sensitive person. I think that's why I hate you the most. <laughs> you're so sensitive. You hate the fact that I'm super sensitive. Yeah. And I hate the fact that you're sometimes <clears throat> not sensitive. No. I think that makes sense. See, this next question is a bit weird, because it says, I think it's, it's meant to be because I've got the YouTube channel. Um, but it's obviously not a very big YouTube channel, but the question, I'm just going to say it exactly how it's written down here, is what is it like being sister with a YouTube guru? Yeah. I'm a guru. I'm way. a guru. I'm a guru. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing it's more like what is it like be, having a sister who does stuff on YouTube? It's fairly embarrassing. Really? Yeah. And it's awkward when I find things out on YouTube rather than you just sort of say, yeah, I've had a bit of a shit week. Yeah. And I go on YouTube and I'm like, oh. Sorry, man. I get sensitive. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Do we ever argue? All no. the time. <laughs> <laughs> Have, no, having said that, when we lived together, we did argue. Oh my God, when we're on holiday together, we argue. When we're together for too long, yeah. <laughs> we'll argue. Like for more than like 72 hours, I'd say. Mm. But any shorter than that, we get on all right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But yeah, when we used to live together, it was horrible. Uh, what's the best thing about one another? Well, I've already said that you're sensitive and artistic, and you've called me crazy and aggressive. <laughs> so... <laughs> the best thing about you is that we have been together through a lot, and we're st we can still talk to each other about anything. And that's the truth. Mm. I can tell you things that I can tell, well, that I can't tell anyone. No, like Jake. Sometimes not even Jake. He can't hear because he's got his headphones on. But yeah. <laughs> I, I second that. I mean, you have a lot of, like, girl best friends as well, don't you? I mean, I don't really have, like, a lot of, like, girl friends. Mm -mm. So <clears throat> I would say I speak to you about a lot of my... You know, heartfelt stuff. Stuff that, you know, I couldn't tell other people. But then you have a lot of girlfriends, so would you tell them the same sort of things, or...? Um, I, you're my kind of fun. Oh. If I want to kind of, like, just have a bit of fun, I'm like, oh, I'll hang with Gabe. Yeah. I seem to be your escape at the I moment. get my moaning and crying out the way with the girlfriends, and I'm like, right, let's, let's have fun. Even though I'm sitting in front of a camera making you answer questions. Lame. Yeah. Lame. <laughs> 
the next question, I think this is for you to answer oh, on God, your own. Guru again. No, it's ditch the dirt. Hmm. So this is your chance to embarrass me on the internet, basically. Hmm. I can't think of, I can't ruin the question because I can't, I can't come up with anything. No. No, it's not dirt as such, like I don't... Apart from that house party, that would be the only dirt I'd have on you, is the house party. Uh, I'm sorry, I have dirt on you from the house party. Oh gosh. <clears throat> that whole night was just a mess. Really. I mean, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? What were you thinking? <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> you know the dirt I have on you with that party. Yeah, but I wouldn't... I. Again, it's one of those things where, like, you, you're doing this, but, like... <laughs> Please don't dish my dirt from the house party! <laughs> I think that we should skip the question. Question. The question's <laughs> finished. Interpret that as you will, guys. <laughs> like, Favourite inside joke? Oh my god. I'm sure there's loads, isn't there? I'm trying to think of the best one now. Oh my god, well there's squeegee. Squeegee. Wobble. Whatever Wobble. the hell that is. What even was um, that? <laughs> I have no idea. There's just so many. Just for the American watchers, a squeegee is like a mop with a sponge on the end as opposed to like the mop bit, you know. But you had the squeegee and then all we heard in this recording was my sister screaming at me, Get it back, my squeegee! We and have that. so many more inside jokes than that, but we always it always, always goes back to squeegee. <laughs> oh, we've got too much that? too soon. Oh my goodness! That comes up yeah. all the time. Chief reindeer. Chief reindeer. <laughs> there are just too many. <laughs> Chief reindeer is more like a family <laughs> inside <laughs> joke, isn't it? Yeah, but so is too much too soon. Yeah. Really, <laughs> it's basically like everyone like. <laughs> Basically things that dads say, like <coughs> Dennis, who is like our stepdad, would you say is our stepdad? Yeah. He kind of is our stepdad. He just comes out with bullshit all fucking time. But the thing is that there is a couple of bits that always stick and they always get brought up at Christmas. Like Chief Reindeer, too much too soon. Okay, the next question is full sisters or half sisters or stepsisters? It's not really a question, is it? We're, we're, we're full sisters, so so we all know. The next question is: Guess each other's favourite singer. Oh, easy, easy for me. Easy. Well, we've just been, for God's sake, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga for me. <laughs> through and through. Mm. For you, is it Beyonce though? She's the ultimate. Yeah. She's got to be. But then you have a lot of other. I have favourites at the minute. But ultimately, she's the Ultimately, favorite. it's Queen Bee. Done. And number 13 is who takes longer to get ready. Mm. It depends. We're not often getting ready together. No. I would say that when we've been on holidays together, you take longer to get ready. Mm. Like, I don't know why, but on holiday I just go into like chill out mode and I don't give a shit if my hair looks a bit crap and the makeup's not put on properly, that you still love glamorising yourself. And you like putting powder on and getting it all right and perfect, even if we're just going down to like, like the hotel when we bar. went to Finland and I'd put lip gloss on and we went outside into minus 30 and my lips and froze. froze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heels or flats? Flats. Flats. I am 5'2 and you are? 5'8. Five 5'8. Eight. Five eight. And she's my younger sister. Bitches be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> um, pants or dresses? I'm assuming pants means trousers. Dresses. Um, With leggings. I don't know. I would say I'm definitely more of a trousers and sweater top kind of person. Sweater vest. Sweater. Dresses. Fa favourite animal? Cats, isn't it? Both of us. Yeah. Uh, this question is a bit weird. It says, if your house was burning down and your entire family was sure to be okay, what would you save and why? So everyone else is outside, but you have got the choice of picking up an object of your choice to save from the burning wreckage. Oh, God. 
it wouldn't be my phone because I hate my phone. <laughs> I really hate my phone. It would <laughs> probably be the PlayStation or my PC. I'd have to think hard about which one I choose. Probably PC actually because there's lots of photographs and videos and even people's phone numbers and email addresses like saved in that hard drive and I can always buy another PlayStation 4 because it will have all my settings saved on in it anyway. I'm thinking, I have to think crucially into this but that's that, yeah. See something instantly popped into my head mm -hmm. but I, I don't want that to be the item but now I think well, it's accessible I probably would and it would be ironic <clears throat> but I've got that, <laughs> have you seen it, that um picture that Ollie painted of me that is the scariest picture in the whole world. Would you save that? Well the thing is we used to sort of joke like oh you know that picture's going to burn the house down it's so evil <laughs> but then thinking about it on the painting theme I'd probably take the big boat painting because it's in my bedroom and I love it. Yeah. I'd probably take that. Yeah. Because it's the only painting that I've ever seen I really loved. I would grab the painting. That's a nice painting. I but... would grab that painting. <laughs> If and maybe grab the other one as well. <laughs> just in case she haunts just you. Just because it would just, like, if that's the only thing that survived a house fire, it'd be like, really? <laughs> it would be funny. Uh, question 18, it's a pretty quick one. Comedy, horror, or chick flick? Horror. Horror. Blackberry or iPhone? <laughs> Neither. I don't have either. Neither. Either. If I had to choose, it'd be iPhone, probably, but... Yeah. Neither. I'd rather be phoneless than have a piece of shit iPhone. Uh, favourite movie? Too hard. I've got top ten. If you... <laughs> no, I can't. Wait, no. What, I can't. Why have you got top ten? Are they all different types I love of movies? films so much and they're all really different, my favourites, that I can't, I can't. Can't. I can't. can't. I can't. No, I refuse. I refuse, refuse. My favourite film is Stardust. It's lame. What is something weird that you eat? Tons of stuff. I like bread with butter and black pepper on it, and I just eat it like sandwiches. What, just pepper bread? <laughs> I'd say the weirdest thing I eat is, and people always think this is weird, like corned beef and tomato ketchup sandwiches. It's wrong with me. Yeah, but people have corned beef with like... Canned pickle. meat is wrong. Canned meat, yeah, it is a bit weird. <laughs> Do you guys have anything matching? Oh yeah! <laughs> Last question, so we can get food food going. Get you some pepper bread. <laughs> what is your favourite TV show? Well that's a bit of a lame question to finish off on. Game of Thrones? I really like Towie. <laughs> I really like Towie. <laughs> I've tried watching that. And I watched it this morning. Did you? Do you watch it quite often then? Yeah. Yeah, religiously. See, I've tried to watch that and I just think they all sound like goons. I can't help it. Like, why do they all talk? I realise it's bad, but I, I, can't, I can't... But it's all set up as well, isn't it? Like when yeah, but the arguments aren't... No. The arguments But they're all aren't. set up to Stop it. be in the situation to have the argument. Which is kind of bizarre to to me. That's a lame question to finish on. It's really lame, isn't it? Like, it's a bit of an anticlimactic thing now. Climactic. Climactic. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, found out a little bit more about us, I suppose. And I guess this makes for shit viewing in general, so that's good. I suppose this is a good chance for people to see you properly, seeing as when you did the amnesia videos, mm -hmm. people didn't really get to see you properly. Didn't like doing those. No. <laughs> Hop over to my channel and yeah. no, I'm joking. <laughs> that's what always happens at the end of the videos, isn't it? My channel is a list of favourites, so that's it. <laughs> but, yep, I'll see you in the next video, and whether she's there or not, I have no idea, because I don't know how this is going to work out. But, um, thanks for watching anyway. See ya.